Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paris and if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. I forgot to record an intro for today's video, so this is it. Today we're making a gingerbread house, so let's go ahead and get into the video. I have all of my supplies in front of me and I'm just gonna kind of quickly tell you what I have in front of me. So. I obviously have my little gingerbread kit. This is just a mini gingerbread house. Um, I got this at um, the Five Below store. Um, I don't know where they have these. I discovered this one day, like driving around to my neighborhood. Um, I think it's a fairly new um, retailer, but it's kind of like the Dollar Tree on crack. And if you guys have been watching me, you know that I'm obsessed with the Dollar Tree. So. Um, yeah, this place has me suckered in. I, <laughs> I get in trouble every time I go in there because it's like literally the Dollar Tree on crack. It's like you can find cute little stuff in there for five bucks and below. And I think this was like $2.99 and it's just like this little mini um, gingerbread house. It comes with, I believe, the little candies and the icing and obviously the gingerbread. So that is what I have here in this little kit. And then um, over here, I just have some little Halloween candies left over. I have these little sprees, some strawberry nerds. And then these are like those old lady grandma butterscotch candies. Don't make fun of me, but I love these. <laughs> um, and then this um, this weekend, I actually like ran into my aunt for Thanksgiving, so she always brings us candy. Um, she brought us Sour Patch Kids, so I have these little guys in here, um, Swedish Fish, and I didn't realize how big these were. I was hoping they were a little bit smaller, but we'll see if these will work out. And then um, Hot Tamales, so that's what I have in here. And then over here, I have just some crafting supplies, um, some glitter. So I don't know if I'm gonna use this. I kind of wanna, I already have some open. I kind of wanna use the blue stars, maybe for like a river or I don't know. They're just really pretty. I like these blue little stars. Um, and then the white glitter for snow. So yeah. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Let's open up our little kit, see what we got going on. I really hope they included everything. $2.99 is a good deal. I remember this one time I bought a gingerbread house from World Market and World Market is so expensive for no reason at all, but it was like a $30 gingerbread house and it was like this dark chocolate graham cracker um, and it was peppermint and it was cute, but like, um, I'm not the greatest at making gingerbread houses, so why did I spend 30 bucks on a gingerbread house that I literally screwed up? But anyways, so, okay, cute. So we have our icing. We'll probably have to knead this, warm it up. Um, we have our little candies to decorate with and our little gingerbread house making kit. Perfect. Um, I might be able to use this to make it on top of, actually. So, we can undo this, actually, and make it on top of this so that when I'm done, I can transport it. Now, it says icing pouch preparation. Knead pouch to make icing easier to squeeze. Cut a fourth inch opening at the corner of pouch and gently squeeze. House assembly. Separate the house by gently breaking along the snap lines between the sections. Okay. So, let's 
go ahead and open this. Ollie thinks that this is a snack. I'm like, I mean, it is, but it isn't. Okay. Break gently along the snaps. This is like nerve wracking because this is the part that I always mess up and I always end up breaking a piece, but hopefully we can get through this without ruining it. Yay, okay. So. So we have it just like they have it broken apart. We have our two sides. Let's see. Well, oh, is this the side of the house? Apparently this is a side of the house. Okay, and then this is the roof, I'm assuming. Yeah, okay, so this is the roof, and these are the sides, and these are the front and the back of the house. And then it just says to line the top and bottom edges of both panels with icing. Um, line the sides and bottom edges of B panels. Assemble the house as shown in diagram three. So let's go ahead and knead our icing. Okay, we are back. We have kneaded the icing, and now we are ready to assemble our gingerbread house. So, it says to line the top and bottom, the rough edges of side A. So this is side A. to line the tops. I feel like they never give enough icing in these packets. I mean, I'm really not using a lot. I'm using just enough to like give this a good um, lining, but I feel like it's like 
just not enough, if that makes sense. This is a lot harder than it looks on these little um, outlines. Okay, so I had to go get some hot water and put the icing in it because it started to like harden. So while that is um, kind of melting again and softening up, I'm going to put some decorations on our house.
is what it looks like up close. Super cute. Ignore the back. But I feel like it turned out pretty cute. Um, obviously the, the glitter was a huge mess, but um, we have our little Sour Patch Kids just hanging out in the front yard. Um, this guy's making a snow angel. Um, and then, yeah, we just got our glitter snow and our lights going on, our cute little walkway. Um, the icing was really hard to work with. Uh, obviously, you guys see I had trouble with the roof. Uh, I could not, for the life of me, outline the rest of the house. But uh, otherwise, I think it turned out really, really cute. I really, really like it. I love it. Super cute. Um, so part of the reason why I wanted to do this little gingerbread um, kit was because um, my apartment complex is pretty uh, festive. They do little competitions all the time. Like pretty much every month they have a new little competition for whatever season it is and like whatever holiday. So for December they have a gingerbread making contest coming up. So um, I'm just going to take some pictures of this and uh, submit it for the contest. Um, and they usually give you like $100 off your rent if you win. I mean, obviously I'm probably not gonna win because there are people who are much more creative than me um, and just a lot more talented than this. But I gave it my all and uh, yeah, thanks for coming along for the ride with me and if you stuck around this long, uh, let me know what your favorite little thing to make for the holidays is. Do you like making gingerbread houses? Do you suck at it? Do you really do well at it? Um, let me know in the comments below. Bye guys!